So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in the last two weeks. It's just there's been a lot going on with lockdown, COVID and the weather at the minute. I just haven't been able to skate too much. In the past two weeks, I've probably skated about two or three times. The other day I managed to get a little session and I got to film some tray flips for you guys for this video. But unfortunately there was other stuff that I couldn't film because it started raining. And again, it's been raining ever since then. And that's why I'm in my bedroom finishing the rest of this because it's still terrible weather outside. This is what it's like right now. And one more thing before we get into the video, remember this is how I do my tray flips, so it might not work for some of you guys, but it might work for others. I hope it does work for you, and if it does, definitely let me know in the comments after the video's ended and after you tried it. And if this video isn't helpful for you, you can always go and look at different tutorials, or you can just try and learn it yourself. Tutorials or trick tip videos aren't for everyone, but I hope this one's for you. So tray flips are a very satisfying trick to land in skateboarding, that's why they're so popular. I do my tray flips a little bit different to how other people do their tray flips. My feet are positioned a little bit different on the board and I scoop a bit different. So with the position on my back foot of my tray flips, I have it right in the corner pocket. Whenever I go to scoop, I try to scoop back and towards me at the same time. This really helps me get the full rotation I need on the trick. About 80% of my body weight is going on my back leg when I'm doing the scoop, and I put most of the weight on the balls of my toes. So my front foot is actually placed very similar to a kickflip. The position of my front foot for my kickflips are right here. But for my tray flips, I have it just about here. It's only about an inch lower, but it really makes a difference for me. Whenever I'm doing the scoop, I don't actually do too much with my front foot. All I do is lift it up and out of the way. And as I'm scooping, the board naturally comes at an angle where whilst I'm bringing my foot up, it taps it and gives it that little extra bit of a flick to rotate around fully. When you're doing this trick, you wanna keep your shoulders nice and open and be nice and free. Once you've done the scoop, you wanna jump up as high as you can and keep an eye on the board so that you can see when the rotation's gone around fully so you know when to catch it. Whenever I'm catching my tray flips, I catch it with both feet. Some people catch it with their front foot. That's a more steezy way to do it, but I can't do that yet. I just catch with both feet at the same time. So when I'm doing the scoop of the tray flip, like I said, I have about 80% of my weight on my back leg, but I also tend to tilt my body a bit more forward so I can balance out the weight because you don't want to have all of your weight on the back side of your body. If that happens, whenever you land it, you'll just hit the back of the tail and you'll scoop out and you'll fall. So make sure to counter out the balance so you can actually land the trick nice and clean. I hope this trick tip was helpful for you guys. Again, sorry this video isn't filmed outside, but the weather is just terrible at the minute and I can't go out to any underground spots because of COVID and lockdown. Thank you guys so much for 1.4K subscribers now. We're on the way to 2K. I'm hoping for 2K in March, that's the goal. To make that happen though, I know I need to start posting more. It's just hard at the minute because of everything that's going on. But I'm gonna be back to putting out a video every week and I will be putting out one this Sunday. If you wanna see any more trick tips in the future, leave it in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, I post weekly skate content, so definitely watch out for that. I hope everyone's doing well during this pandemic and I hope we all get through it. But for now, I'll see you guys next week. Back up. That wasn't recording. <laughs> Say something for the vlog. Say something for the vlog. Can't just spring it upon me like this, Travis. I have to have time to think. Jeez. Oh, sorry, Hello, man, <laughs>